2018 Volkswagen Tiguan FWD review. The Boostic 4's initial throttle tip and can be abrupt, but this lack in the response disappears once underway. The 8-speed automatic is never caught out and can be made more responsive to a prod of the go pedal by shifting from D to S. In addition, doing so does not lock out top gear so that position effectively can be used all the time. The direct injected force gravelly warble is your constant companion whenever the engine is under load, and it grows wearisome in city and suburban driving it recedes into the background on the highway. However, the highway is also where the powertrain's efficiency really shines. The EPA rates the FWD Tiguan at a mediocre 22 mpg city and 27 highway, besting its all-wheel drive sibling by just 1 mpg in the city. But we did better than that. Over more than 1,000 miles of mostly highway driving with some heavy traffic thrown in, we averaged 28 mpg, versus the 24 mpg we observed with the AWD model. Both versions overachieved on our 75 mph highway fuel economy test, with the front driver notching 32 mpg in the AWD 33 mpg. The Tiguan's growth spurt did not make it nimbler. Although the big tick is capable in the twisties and its ride is firm but not harsh, it's chiefly the overbisted steering that keeps it from being entertaining. The view circled our skid pad at a modest 0.78 G before its Pirelli Scorpion Verde all-season tires, size 235/50 R19, waved the white flag. That low rolling resistance rubber probably was a factor in the Tiguan's braking performance, as the VW required 176 feet to stop from 70 mph. But the hardware is stout enough that there was no fade after six hard stops. The Tiguan starts at $26,095 for the basis and progress it through SE, SEL, and SEL premium trim levels. In all cases, all-wheel drive adds $1,300 to its $37,150 base price. Our SEL premium test example added but one option. Habanero orange metallic paint for $295. The SEL Premium already comes fully equipped with leather, an oversized sunroof, outlined in ambient lighting, adaptive cruise control, automated emergency braking, lane keeping assist, blind spot warning, heating for the front seats and steering wheel, a power liftgate, a surround view camera system, a configurable digital instrument cluster and an 8.0-inch touchscreen with navigation. The generously sized touchscreen responds to swiping and pinching motions, and it's abetted by volume and tuning knobs. The navigation, however, proved flaky on a 3-day, 1100-mile, multi-stop trip, with wild swings in estimated arrival time as the system contemplated wacky maneuvers such as turning around for no reason. The system also chose routes that were much slower than those suggested by smartphone apps, so eventually we gave up on it and just used Waze instead, a task made easy by the standard Android Auto capability. Apple CarPlay also is included but doesn't incorporate Waze functionality. The top spec Tiguan's interior is pleasant and functional, but we wouldn't call it luxurious particularly in the rear, where a noxious bit of cost cutting strips the door panels of the padding and the glossy trim strip that adorns the front doors. The seats, though, are well shaped and supportive, there's plenty of stowage and the two USB ports in front are easily accessible. Visibility is good to the front and sides thanks to narrow A pillars, but the view to the rear is obstructed by the aft pillars and rear headrests. The new Tiguan's tweener size bigger than a CRV or Toyota RAV4 but not as big as a Ford Edge or Hyundai Santa Fe Sport might be just right for some subset of the market, particularly for those with the occasional need to carry more than five passengers, provided at least two are small. For that narrowly defined group, Choosing the front drive Tiguan provides a modest increase in performance and fuel economy over the all-wheel drive version.